All I know is if something like this happened in our world, the people in my theater would not last five minutes. Three, two, one. All right, so the Quiet Place franchise is now successful enough to breed spin-offs, and we've got a Quiet Place Day One, our prequel to those first two films. So let's talk about it. But before I do, if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you love movies and you love movie reviews especially, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Plenty more movie reviews and movie related content headed your way. So thank you in advance if you do happen to subscribe. Now let's get into this review. Now Quiet Place Day One, you guessed it, takes place during the first day of this alien invasion. And this time we are in New York City, one of the loudest places on planet Earth. And we're seeing these aliens wreak havoc while everyone either dies or slowly adapts to the fact that they hunt by sound and they have to remain quiet in order to survive. And in this film, we're following two people played here by Joseph Quinn and Lupita Nyong'o, who, you know, meet under these incredibly intense circumstances, slowly get to know one another, start to bond a little bit, but also are really trying to survive with one another. Now, I love the first two Quiet Place films. I love the concept. It's such a novel concept that's been really well executed thus far. And usually I'm the kind of person that groans when I hear about a prequel to a really successful you know, entertaining franchise, just because there's always diminishing returns usually. But I was keeping myself open-minded just because we've gotten some really great entries so far, and I feel like the creative team behind these films is just really strong. Plus, when you got Joseph Quinn and Lupita Nyong'o, we're in good hands. Now, is this movie as good as those first two films? That's probably the big question you want to know the answer to right now. And no, it's not. But that's not to say it's a terrible movie by any stretch of the imagination. It's not, that's not to say that it's not good, because it is. I think it's a very good prequel, especially for a prequel. I think it's very, very solid. And I think that fans of the franchise are going to really enjoy this one. It's just not perfect, not as good as those first two films, but let's talk about it. Now, first and foremost, this movie works because of Joseph Quinn and Lupita Nyong'o, who are delivering terrific performances here. A lot of their, you know, interactions and a lot of their connection building has to take place through facial expressions, body movements, you know, body posture. And I think they do a really great job with that. And when they do get the chance to talk a little bit, they really capitalize on that. And that emotional connection that they form feels earned. It feels genuine. And I love that there's actually great character work having to do with the both of them. They both get solid material to work with. You know, Nyong'o definitely gets a lot juicier material to work with, but I think regardless, the two have great chemistry with one another, and they make for a pair you actually want to see survive, and you can get emotionally invested in. And that's a huge win for this movie. Some of the most touching scenes in the film have to do with the two of them. There's one in particular that I think is adorable, that I think really endears you to them, and really just kind of gives you a sense of hope in this really dreadful environment. And I feel like they really sell the shit out of it just throughout. But of course you want to know about the aliens <laughs> and how much fun that stuff is and all the thrills and chills that you've come to know and love from this franchise. And I think for the most part, you're going to be really satisfied if you're a big fan of this franchise in terms of the action sequences and the suspense and the tension that you're used to. Now this movie is directed by Michael Sarnowski, who directed the amazing 2021 film Pig starring Nicolas Cage, one of Cage's best movies ever. So if you haven't seen that movie, absolutely check it out. But I was very curious to see how he would tackle this big budget fare because he's never really been in this arena before. And I think for the most part, he handles himself well. I think the action sequences are for the most part very well staged. I think there's some really entertaining ones early on, especially when the aliens first invade and come down to Earth and, you know, they're just kind of wreaking havoc in New York City and turning <laughs> New York City into their all-you-can-eat buffet because, let's face it, that's probably, like, the best place they could be. <laughs> All that stuff is really well done. And there are some really great sequences of really sustained suspension and tension that I really, you know, I love about this franchise. And I'm glad that it's carried through here that work really well and definitely keep you on the edge of your seat. And this is a movie that's also paced very well. It clocks in under two hours, never overstays its welcome. It's constantly entertaining. You're never going to be bored watching this thing. Even when it does slow down a little bit so that you can get to know the characters, it's still very entertaining, very watchable and engrossing. I mean, the action sequences may not be as good as those first two films, but they're still entertaining here. And I don't think fans of the franchise are going to be all that disappointed. Just not as good, but still entertaining. Now, the only disappointing aspects of this film, in my opinion, are just the prequel nature of its story. I feel like it doesn't really capitalize on that potential. I mean, seeing these aliens, you know, first invade Earth and especially New York City, that's really entertaining, really interesting to watch just because, you know, how did people fare on this first day? Was it a shit show? And yes, indeed, it was a shit show. I mean, come on, let's face it. 
New York City, one of the loudest places on earth. What do you think is gonna happen? And also seeing people really not know how quiet they need to be in order to not gain the attention of these aliens and get hunted. That was really entertaining too, because you just feel like any sound, whether it's just a small footstep or just a little creak could alert one of these things and hunt these people down. And I liked seeing the early stages of that, the early days of that. I thought that was really interesting and entertaining. But the thing I really wanted to see more of was the lore, the mythology. I wanted to see that get built upon, but it isn't really, enhanced at all here. We don't learn anything new about these aliens. We know what they look like. We know how they hunt. We know what they do. And I feel like we don't really learn anything else. You know, it would have, this would have been a great opportunity to learn some more about them that maybe we could carry through into the next film in the back of our minds, even if the characters in that movie don't necessarily know that information. But still, Nothing new is really added to the table here, and that was honestly really disappointing. But if you're looking to be entertained, if you're looking for another solid installment in the Quiet Place franchise, I think you're gonna be really happy here. You know, it, it's not as good as those first two films, like I said, but I think it's still very entertaining and, you know, different in its own unique way, and I really enjoyed that. And I just really enjoyed this movie overall. I, I was very entertained, and the performances from Quinn and Nyong'o are more than enough to keep you on the edge of your seat and keep you engaged here. So in the end, I'm gonna give A Quiet Place Day One, I'm gonna give this movie three and a half out of five stars. Very entertaining entry into the franchise. Makes me hopeful if they do make any more spinoffs. And I definitely would love to see a third chapter having to do with some of the characters we may know or may not know. Uh, I think that would be really entertaining too, but Regardless, I really think this is a strong horror franchise that I think has really found its footing and has honestly, in my mind, gone three for three. So that is my review of A Quiet Place Day One. Really hope you enjoyed it. And if you've seen the movie, let me know in the comments section below what you think of it. Uh, did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you middle of the road on it? Let me know in the comments section below. And make sure to follow my film podcast, Film on Tap, where every other week, get together with my buddies. We talk about movie news, trailers, we review movies, we go on some weird, wild, hilarious tangents. It's so much fun. Links to that in the description. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.